Welcome to all. I am Nidhi Prasiti from KT Somaya College, Kopparga. Here we are going to learn the CA 2150 course of MSc first year. Today we are going to learn the schemic reaction. Last time we learned what is the schemic reaction, the mechanism and some significance of the schemic reaction. Here what is the schemic reaction? That means they deliver this acid which is treated with the hydroxamic acid in presence of the H2SO4 then there is a formation of a primary amine is known as the schemic reaction. We learn the significance, we already discussed the significance of the aldehyde. Whenever the aldehyde which is on schemic reaction there is a formation of the two types of the product. First that is the formation of the nitrile and the second one that is the formation of the n substituted head, uh, amine okay next we are going to learn that is the reaction of the ketone with the hydro uh, with the this acid okay here uh, that means the schemic reaction on the ketone what will be the product there will be the formation of the amine compounds not the amine compound whenever the ketone which is treated with the hydrochromic acid in presence of H2SO4 there is a formation of the amide okay here if these two R group are different that time we get the different types of the product so start with the mechanism how we will get this type of the product okay here our first compound that is ketone is R CO R dash which is treated with the acid that is H plus then what will be the product that means R here the uh, oxygen which have the lone pair and that's why here this oxygen abstract this H plus ion and what happened here there is a formation of OH R dash by the formation of this lone pair of this oxygen to this H plus ion this oxygen becomes a positive charge okay here by removing this positive charge what happened here this bond is shifted to here and there is a formation of this type of product that is R C O H okay and R dash this carbon has a positive charge okay after the formation of this type of product then this hydrochloric acid which is attached on this compound like this manner that is R C O H here this is the R dash and this carbon have a positive charge okay then what happened here this is this H N minus N triple bond and this is the structure of the NCH compound that is what hydrochloric acid then what happens here this negative charge nitrogen which is attached to this carbon okay and then what will be the product that is R C O H then here this is the another R dash and here this N H which is attached to this N plus triple bond N okay this is the product which we call as the amine okay then what happened here next there is a this bond here this OH minus gets removed there is a removal of this water molecule okay how and there is a formation of like this product that is this bond gets shifted and this is shifted to here and there is a formation of C R R dash N double bond and here this is the N triple bond and here 
there are the two types of the compounds it will be formed first of all this group ethyl group which is opposite to this r and the second type is what here this is the c this is the r and this is the r that double bond and n plus triple bond n that means this group is trans to this r dash you know very well here this which group is arranged rearranged only those group which are opposite or trans to this ethyl compound okay to this nitrogen that the, those group only what rearrange to here then in the first case let me learn what happened here the first case this r group is trans to this n and that's why here this is shifted to here and here this is get removed okay and there is a formation of what uh, c yes there is a formation of Here this R group is, uh, this bond is shifted to here and here it is accepted by the nitrogen and here this R hydrogen is accepted by this nitrogen and there is a formation of what uh, R, C, double bond O and H, R dash. This is our product. Okay, understood how we get this type of the product? Second here. If we get this type of product, then I am writing here like this manner R dash C plus double bond N R for the check of understanding. Okay, then the addition of the water molecule, this has a lone pair, this is directly shifted to this uh, carbon and there is a formation of R dash C O H2. By the donation of lone pair of helium chloride oxygen, the oxygen becomes positively charged. The double bond with the nitrogen and here R. Then by the removal of H plus ion, there is a formation of what? R dash C OH and double bond N R. Okay. By the rearrangement reaction here, this is bond is shifted to here. This is double bond. This one bond is shifted to the nitrogen, and this nitrogen is accepted this hydrogen. 
and that is the formation of the product that is R dash C double bond O N H. Ah, this is our second. This is the first type of product, and this is the second type of product that we get from the ketone. That means the ketone from the schemic reaction we always get the amide compound. Okay, if this R group R different, that time we get the these two types of the compound. Okay. Next we learn that is the significance of the schemic reaction. That is here whenever the alcohol become schemic reaction, that is the reaction with the NCH and H plus, then there is the formation of this imide compound. This is the imide. Let me learn the mechanism. Mechanism. What happens here? This alcohol that is R R R tertiary alcohol. Oh yes, it is reaction with the H two S O four. That is it gives H plus ion. This is accepted by the lone pair of the oxygen. Then there is the formation of what? C R R R C O H two plus. And that's why here this is the best removing group and it get removed. Okay, this water molecule get removed by the H two. And there is the formation of the this type of compound that is R R R C plus. After the formation of this carbocation, then there is an attack of H N minus N plus triple bond N is there. This is the hydroxyamic acid, and this is attached to this carbon. Okay. Then what? What will be the uh, adduct? It is like this. R R R here. This carbocation is attached to this nitrogen that is N H N plus triple bond N. Okay. Then after that there is a removal of H plus ion and the product is here R R R C N minus N plus triple bond N. After the formation of this, here this N two get removed and here minus N two and there is a formation of this C R R R and N has the this type of the product. Okay, then here the at this position the rearrangement is takes place that means here this R group is shifted to here and this nitrogen lone pair is shifted to move here to form the bond between carbon and the nitrogen and our product is R C R double bond N R this is our product this is called as the this is called as a imide. This is very simple mechanism of the conversion of what the alcohol to the imide. What happened here? This alcohol which on acidification, there is a removal of the water molecule. Then after the removal of water molecule, there will be attack of hydrocyanic is present. Hydrocyanic acid is present. Then here this after the mole of the water molecule, this carbon becomes a carbocation. That's why the negative charge nitrogen is attached to this compound. There's a formation of this. After that, there is a removal of this H. And here this nitrogen becomes negatively charged. And that's why here, at this position, this N2 group gets removed. Sorry, this N2 is gets removed. Then after removing N2, here this is the nitrogen group is present. Here, then this lone pair of uh, here this R group is get rearranged to here and this lone pair is shifted to here. 
for stabilization of this carbon, there is a formation of RRC double bond and R, which is the product that is called as the ethyl double. Thank you very much for.